Well, we're back here on the Delta, Ish Monroe, ready to go flipping and pitching. We have a new Daiwa Tatula Elite Series reel. We have a flipping and pitching version and we have a long cast version that I'm gonna be throwing with the frog to make those really long casts over mats today. And so we're gonna hit the Delta, go casting, go flipping, go pitching, and see what happens. Let's go. There's a nice one, you know, just getting started here, first thing in the morning. The one thing cool about this new reel is it's got a really, really big handle on it. You know, we're talking a 100 millimeter handle, which is gonna give you that extra torque and power uh, for when you need to pull those fish out of that super duper thick, heavy cover. When you're flipping and pitching, you know, the seven to one gear ratio that I'm using in the thick heavy mats with the heavy braided line is definitely key because you don't want an eight to one or a nine to one gear ratio reel in this situation because you get a two pound bass on the line and then you get five pounds of grass, you have zero torque for uh, actually putting that fish in the boat. So let's go catch another one. So back to what I was saying is, is when you get in these situations, this super heavy cover like this, the seven to one gear ratio is fast enough for you to catch up with that fish when he bites. Because a lot of times what'll happen is you'll flip into some of these mats, they'll be a little bit deeper. You're thinking it's gonna go down three or four feet and it goes right through the mat and the fish eats it right away. And so you gotta catch up to him. And so seven to one gear ratio gives you almost three feet of line on one turn of the handle of the reel taken up. You don't want to use the eight to one in this situation. If I'm just regular flipping, you know, brush, or if I'm just flipping docks, I like the eight to one gear ratio just because I'm not pulling a big bass out of super heavy cover. So folks, remember that seven to one, super thick mats, eight to one when you're just regular flipping. bit. Oh, there he is. That's a good one. That's a big one. I knew it was a big one when he hit it. That's a real good one. Oh, his big handle. Oh, big handle allows me to grab that line up there. Come on, big girl. Oh, look at that thing right there like that. That's why you got to have the right flipping and pitching reel when you're up here fishing and stuff. You know, I teamed it up with the eight foot Ish Monroe Tatula punching rod. Man, missile baits D-bomb, new jack flipping hook, hooked through the roof of the head. And, you know, big weight, river to sea one and half ounce weight. Oh, catch big fat ones like that, yeah! You know, one thing about this reel is it's designed to, when you make those pitches or those flips, to get a low trajectory to the water. A lot of times when you're pitching and flipping, you're fishing really, really shallow water. And if you go in there and make a big splash, that's not really good because the fish will get spooked and run away from you. So, you know, this reel here allows that bait to swing forward real low to the water and just drop right in without even making a ripple. And whenever you're flipping and pitching, most of the time you're using really heavy line. You know, right now I'm using 65 pound maximum braided line. So I don't want any drag. And the reason for no drag is you get a better hook set and you're probably not gonna break a fish off. So 13 pounds of drag, I can lock this drag down to where it doesn't slip on the hook set. 
Um, you know, same thing as if I'm fishing 25 pound maximum fluorocarbon. Uh, in those situations, no drag slip. Another good one. Oh. Oh, right there, prime example. Oh. Grass, bass. Oh. Another good one like that. So, the technology in the MagForce braking system on this reel basically allows you to get that low trajectory. And what it is on normal braking systems. What it is, is it actually slows the reel down as it comes towards the end of the cast, which raises the bait. This rail does not allow you to do that. So it's just having that perfect MagForce casting system that allows you to flip and pitch and get that low trajectory. Fizz, fizz. So what we had there on that situation was we had a real sparse mat and we have a shallow spool on here. We call it the low mass and it's an aluminum spool which makes it super durable. Also gives you that low trajectory, especially when you have a sparse mat because if you had a high trajectory, that thing would go in, splash the mat and you wouldn't catch these fish. That's it. And that's how you do it. Right there, you know. The new Tattoo Elite pitch and flipping rod is the way to go when you catch good ones like that. Oh, yeah. For years, we've had rods specifically designed for certain techniques, but now we've got a reel that's designed for pitching and flipping to keep you with that lower trajectory pitch to get it, you know, real close to the water so it slides in a lot quieter so you can get those bites. The big handle for horsing those big fish out of heavy cover, 13 pounds of drag so you can lock the drag down. The right gear ratios, you know, seven to one for when you're punching in the heavy, heavy vegetation or heavy thick cover to having the torque to being able to pull those fish out and also fast enough to getting a good hook set. And then an eight to one for when you're just flipping open water, you're flipping underneath docks or in the brush and you can, you know, turn the handle and pull those fish out. This reel right here is going to help you and improve your flipping and pitching. So check out the new Daiwa Tatula Elite Flipping Pitching Reel. You just boat flip them over the dock like that. That's the great part about having, gosh, this big flipping handle on here. Just being able to winch them. Tattoola 8 foot Elite Series punching flipping stick. You get big ones like that. Oh.